This motorcycle literally sucks at everything, making it the perfect bike. Cue the intro. It's slow, it's goofy looking, it's small, it doesn't handle well, it only has a top speed of 75, the brakes are poor, mediocre at best. If this is such a horrible bike, why did Yamaha make this thing from 1987 to currently 2019? And we'll continue making it for a long time. Why did they make this bike for 32 years if it was such a poor motorcycle? So the Yamaha TW200 has been called a lot of things. You know, it's been called the, the beach bike because of the fat, big fat back tire. It's called the fat tire Yamaha. It's called, been called the ugliest dirt bike ever. These are the good things that people were saying about the bike, when, you know, in terms, in terms of looks. You guys might not believe this, but when Yamaha made this bike, this thing was actually categorized by Yamaha as agricultural machine. That's what this thing is, an ag machine. In the same categories as a tractor, in the same categories of a donkey, you've got the TW200. Now, if I know anything about ag machines, which I don't, but if I do, it's these three things. One, ag machines have a specific purpose that they were designed for. Two, they must be incredibly reliable. And three, they must be able to take decades. I'm not talking years, I'm not talking weeks or months. I'm talking decades of absolute abuse and keep on fulfilling the purpose that it was made for. And the TW200 absolutely knows how to take the abuse. Now, I'm not gonna give it to him. I'm not gonna abuse this bike, because this is a 2019 with 39 miles on it. So I'm not gonna be the one to scratch it up and beat it up, although I'm just dying to. I would love to really abuse this bike the way it was made to. I'm gonna let someone else do that. So there's a lot of negatives that you could say about this bike. You know, it's lacking in speed, and, and guys with Honda Rebel 250s would say that's a small bike compared to what they have. And in many ways, this bike is very limiting. But to be honest, it's not about what the bike can do. For the TW200, it's about where this bike can take you. And to be honest, this may be the most versatile motorcycle on the planet. This thing can take you anywhere. Where sport bikes can take you to meet your creator, where touring bikes and cruiser bikes can take you until the road ends, the TW200, the possibilities are endless. North Pole, South Pole, River, I mean, you just take it thing, and it, the, the beach, almost no bikes are really that good on the beach. That's why you have this giant, humongous, fat tire that's got tread almost the entire way around the tire. You could literally get this low on the motorcycle and still have good tread touching the bike. At this point, you have laid the bike over, you're rolling off, but the bike still has good tread touching the ground. Now let's talk a little bit about the bike. 276 pounds, it's extremely light, and an extremely simple 196cc air-cooled engine. I mean, it, it, has, it, it is as basic as basic can get. Rear drum brakes, front single-sided disc, carbureted. You could fix this thing with a hammer. You don't even need the hammer to fix it, honestly. So I wanted to see if you bought one of these things brand new in 1987, how much it'd be worth right now if you went to sell it. And it was, it was incredible, it's, it really surprised me that most of the ones that I was seeing getting sold, 1987, 1988, were getting sold just under $2,000. When I looked at what MSRP was, it was $1,699. You could have bought one of these things 32 years ago, had been driving the snot out of these bikes, just destroying them, and still sell it for a few hundred dollars more than what you actually paid for it. If that's not a good investment, I don't know what is. You get the fun and you get the value all in once. This is the type of motorcycle you could buy. It could be your first bike that you never replace. Now, definitely you'll, you'll get more bikes and you know more bikes will accompany this in your garage. Eventually, this might stop living in the garage and more the shed or more the, more the barn, but you'll have fun riding it. Your kids will have fun riding it. Your grandkids will have fun riding it. And it's just gonna keep on running. Yamaha's gonna keep on making parts for these things. There's a bajillion of them out there. It's a very popular bike, and you really just can't go wrong when it comes to something like this. And the amount of fun and versatility that you can get out of this bike blow your mind away.